Well, it is upon us. Super Bowl 55. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Kansas City Chiefs from Tampa Bay. Obviously, Tampa making history. The first team ever to be in the Super Bowl at their home stadium. And really, we have come full circle. When we all sit down on Sunday night, whether you're at a Super Bowl party or you're just watching with a couple of friends, watching with family, or if you're just sitting, grabbing a TV dinner, watching it by yourself, we've come full circle with the NFL season. You know, I remember when this whole COVID-19 started, you had these people that were just, there's never going to be a sports season. Cancel the season. Cancel it, cancel it, cancel it. So many keyboard warriors on Twitter and Facebook there's not going to be an NFL season. They're not going to be able to handle it. Blah, 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 blah. There's not going to be a Major League Baseball season. Blah, 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 blah. Well, Major League Baseball cut the amount of games that they played in 2020. Very shortened season. But they were able to get it off. And they had extended playoffs. And they had World Series. And hats off to them. But the NFL had their entire season. You had a couple of games that had to be switched around. But for the most part, they had their season from start to finish without a hiccup. And you have to give full credit to everybody involved. The Players Association, Roger Goodell, the teams, everyone involved. I mean, they just did a tremendous job. Hopefully a great game between two of the top quarterbacks in the league, Brady and Mahomes. And really a classic battle of then and now. But Tom Brady was the then and he still is the now. And the way he's talking, he may be the future for the next five years. This guy's 43 years old and he's talking about play. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll play after 45. Guy's a machine. So it should be a great matchup on Sunday. I'm, looking for, I'm not looking forward to listening to Tony Romo, but be it as it may, very much looking forward to the game. Now, prediction time. Who do we have winning Super Bowl 55? Now, usually I'm pretty good at these. Outside of one or two years when I remember when I was on college radio, my in-season picks usually are not that great, but I usually am pretty much spot on in the Super Bowl. Pretty decent record overall, last couple of years in the playoffs, but the Super Bowl, I think I've nailed the last six winners of the Super Bowl. So let's try and make it seven for my last seven. And let's kind of break down this game, what we'll be seeing on CBS at 6.30 on Sunday. Key players for the Chiefs. You have to go with the obvious to start. Obviously, it's Patrick Mahomes. Todd Bowles and the Bucks could run the perfect game plan. They could play as well as imaginable, both sides of the ball. But if Mahomes turns up, plays his best football, there's nothing really anyone can do to stop him. He's just that good. Other than the obvious, as Mahomes being the key for the Chiefs, Tyran Matthews, and I think he, not Mahomes, is Brady's true opponent on Sunday. And he intercepted Brady on a tip ball, remember, in their Week 12 matchup. Travis Kelsey is also another key player for the Chiefs. You know, we talk about Brady versus Mahomes. What about Kelsey versus Gronkowski? And since Gronk's temporary retirement, Kelsey's been fighting to pass him as the league's best tight end ever. So I'd watch out for Kelsey. And again, just to retouch on Tyran Mathow, I mean, we could be sure Brady's going to take risks through the air. We know that. So Tyran's ability to diagnose, kind of demolish receiver routes, that, that's going to need to be firing on all cylinders to disrupt Tampa's passing attack. And if Mathow can kind of put Brady under pressure and have Brady second-guessing whether he's going to jump a route consistently, that could frustrate Brady into making costly mistakes. So that's another thing to look at in this game. Key players for the Bucks. well, you're going to think I'm crazy, but the first guy that I'm going to say is not a player, so maybe we could say key personnel for the Bucks is Todd Bowles. Bucks defensive coordinator. The Tampa defense has played at a championship level all season, especially towards the second half. And there aren't many schematic fireworks here. Instead, Bowles, he just relies on the core group of plays and his players all playing the highest level possible. And against Mahomes, he's going to need a couple of wrinkles of fresh looks in order to create a negative play or two. And I'm telling you right now, the the Tampa Bay defense, this is going to be the reason why Tampa could win the game, is that defense. And I I know we want to focus on Tom Brady, and we want to focus on the Buccaneers' offense, but let's give a little bit of love to the Buccaneers' defense. The Bucs' defense has seven sacks, seven takeaways, and three playoff games against Washington and against Breeze, Drew Breeze, and Aaron Rodgers. And all on the road. Pierre Paul, Shaquille Barrett, 
They can make Mahomes feel kind of uncomfortable in the pocket. Now, how will their defensive backs hold up against the Chiefs' speed? Chiefs have a lot of speed there. I, I think I think that they're going to do fine because they've shown that they are just playing on a masterful level these last couple of weeks. Masterful level. And, and Bowles has done a great job. And again, when he was in New York, we, we didn't question Bowles as a, defensive, as, a, as a great defensive mind. Again, maybe... You know, some people are just meant to be coordinators. Other people are head coaches. And, and maybe you're looking at a prime example of someone who may not be a good head coach, but he's a hell of a coordinator. He's drawn up a, a great game plan. And remember the second half of, of the game when Tampa played Kansas City in the regular season. That defense was hitting hard. That's an, Again, watch out for that Tampa defense. You also got to look for Levante David for the Bucks. Just one of the finest linebackers in the league right now and his ability to kind of close on the ball carriers stop or even sometimes reverse their momentum that that should prove especially useful against a skilled unit there in the Chiefs that's kind of used to piling on big yards after the catch his sideline to sideline range that's going to be key to maintaining uh, Bowles' bend but don't break principles he's one guy to look at another guy for the Bucks, Leonard Fournette you know, Fournette was remember Fournette was cut by the Jags and came in as Tampa Bay's backup running back. Now he's putting in the best work of the season in the playoffs. I mean, he had a, a, a astonishing touchdown run against Green Bay, and another touchdown or two would be nice. But if he can pick up plenty of yardage on first downs, that's going to open up the playbook very wide for Brady. And obviously, you know, the weapons that we know that Brady has, Gronk. Antonio Brown, expect Brady to target Gronk a lot. Why? The experience. He's been in the Super Bowl with Gronk three other times. Three, four other times he's been with Gronk in the Super Bowl with the Patriots. He knows how to win. He knows how to perform this level with Gronkowski. And he's also had, he's had some, he's had a lot of success this year with Antonio Brown. But I'm telling you right now, the Tampa defense is going to be the factor. And don't get me wrong, Brady's going to have a solid game, a typical Brady Super Bowl game. And I, I expect Brady to be the MVP. And I think I'm kind of giving away my pick here. But I'll just say now, I'm picking Tampa Bay. I'm picking Tampa Bay in the kind of 33-23 range. And I think Tampa Bay comes out firing, guns a-blazing, has a big first half. And we've seen this from Kansas City. You know, this is kind of Kansas City's M.O., is that they start off offensively slow. We've seen it. Doesn't happen, but it happens most of the time. And they've been accused, rightfully so, while they're a terrific football team, they have not really played a full six. They don't really usually play a full 60 minutes of football. Outside of last week, we saw that against the Bills. Now, if they could play a competitive wire-to-wire 60-minute football game on Sunday, it's going to be a great game. However, I do think that they're going to struggle early on, as they always do, and they're going up against the championship-level defense in Tampa Bay that Bowles has them has these guys firing on all cylinders. And against a team like Brady and the Bucks, you can't afford to be down two touchdowns, two, three touchdowns at halftime. And I know you want to say, oh, well, with Mahomes, anything's possible. He's not out of it. Okay, you can make that. But here's the difference. Tampa Bay has a defense. Kansas City does not. I have not been impressed with Kansas City's defense, even last year. I'm not really a big fan of the Chiefs' defense. And I, we, we want to sit here and anoint Spagnuolo as this great defensive coordinator. He won, he won with the Giants because he had a boatload of players. I mean, that was a talented defense. I could have been the defensive coordinator that year and won a Super Bowl. That's how good that unit was. Spagnuolo's defenses are always overrated. They always have been. I've always felt that the guy is one of the most overrated coordinators in the game. And I think you'll see that on full display. I think you'll see Spagnuolo exposed on Sunday. So I expect Tampa to come out firing. Kansas City, in typical Mahomes and Chiefs fashion, kind of gets a couple of scores late. But by that point, it's too late, and I think 33-23. Brady and the Bucks win. Tom wins his seventh Super Bowl. And another factor to look at with the Bucks winning is that they're better, they're healthier, and they're a more complete team than they were in Week 12 when they went up against the Chiefs. 
And 38-24, that game was much closer than it looked. And they had been on a run. Folks, let me remind you. They lost that game to drop to 7-5. They have not lost a game since they've been 7-0. They're the hot team. And if you're a betting man, you go with the hot team. And what have we learned over the years? Unless he's going up against a team in the NFC East. You don't bet against Tom Brady. Bucks 33, Chiefs 23. Your final score for Super Bowl 55.